Jumbo, fellow adventurers, Mike Dooley, time for a Thursday spiritual tune-up. Thanks for all the great comments yesterday. Thanks for sharing and the interaction below. Thanks for telling me where you're from and what you're doing and how these uh, are having an impact on you. Um, it's what keeps me going. Every day, I answer your questions down below live, 9.15 New York City time. Um, and today's question, uh, oh, this is a compilation of several questions from Instagram. So post your questions on Facebook or Instagram on the day of a broadcast, and I may be speaking about them real soon. Today's question, oh, touches your heart. Okay, it's going to be all right. When nothing seems to work. Mike, why does everything crash around you and fall apart at the seams whilst on, whilst, okay, I know where you live, whilst on this path, it seems everything is against you and goes wrong. I feel like I can no longer manifest anything, but I used to be great at it. Okay, a couple of things I've touched on before, worth revisiting and then a deeper dive. Um, Whenever I hear people talk about how they used to have something that they don't have anymore, they used to be a great manifester and it's not true these days. It's just that your game has been taken to a higher level. This is something to celebrate, although based on appearances, it seems like you've taken several steps back. You used to manifest unintentionally. And when you hit it big, you'd be like, wow. And then you watch the secret and you're like, I did that. And you're like, man, this is easy peasy. I, got, I totally got this. Ignorance is bliss. Or so they say. But would you want to keep on going, manifesting hit or miss? Sometimes it works uh, on a sporadic basis. Or do you want to move into the fast lane where everything you touch turns to gold? You took the bait. You're moving up higher. And now you're hypersensitive to, are my thoughts becoming things? Am I getting what I wanted? And, and you're judging with your physical senses that which transpires, which means you're prejudging the process, which I'm going to drill down on in just a minute. Stop being so critical of yourself. Stop looking for spontaneous results. This system of thoughts becoming things never fails never fails. Every day it gets easier. Every day you get closer. You're here to discover your power in this garden of Eden and all is supremely well. Now let me share with you in your hypersensitivity, it always seems like it's not happening until it happens. And then you're like, that was so fast. But you're in that meantime where it seems excruciatingly slow. This is the old adage, enjoy the journey. And then you're not paying so much attention to what's going on. You live in the Garden of Eden. There may be a lot of real estate between where you are now and the life of your wildest dreams, as a note from the universe once said. But if you pay close attention, you'll realize the road from here to there runs straight through the middle of paradise. Celebrate all that you have and who you already are. Okay, now the deep dive where I urge you not to use your physical senses prematurely to mistakenly judge a journey that is playing out to your greater good, to your benefit, towards the life of your wildest dreams, including those things you want right now. I give the GPS analogy all the time. One of the fundamentals beyond destination, car, and gear is that you not use your physical senses because it always looks like it's wrong, right? When you're driving to a place you've never been to before and you're a half hour into the journey, when you're five minutes away from this place you've never been to before, everything looks weird. It would seem like the closer you get, the more confident you are and the clearer things become. No, it's the exact opposite. The closer you get, the stranger things are. You're on roads you never even heard of before. People do things in this neck of the woods that they didn't do back in your neck of the woods. And everything seems wrong when you use your physical senses alone. So do not be prejudging the journey. And here's a little story from my life. 21 years ago, we liquidated Tut Enterprises, Inc. The t-shirt 
gift company. And as I was turning 40 years old, this is when this was happening. And it was like, oh my God, oh my, I'm so old on top of all of this. I lamented, I have no career momentum. I'm completely starting over. I don't even know what I'm starting. They talk about looking for a light at the end of the tunnel. I have no tunnel. Things were horrible in my life. I didn't know what was going on. And I remember thinking, don't look for what's wrong in you because you're going to find a boatload of stuff. Instead, work it, man. Thoughts become things. Visualize, have vision boards, and never stop with your baby steps. Did that make things work? Hell to the no. Nothing changed. It was a downward spiral to the physical senses. But I kept busy. I started dabbling with emails. I created a database. I was sending out to 36 people. Messages from Mike, really boring. They fell flat until they evolved into notes from the universe. I did an audio program. I joined Toastmasters. A year went by and my life was just tanking. I thought I was delusional using my physical senses alone. But as I continued to stay busy, following my heart, doing what I wanted to do, even though logically it didn't make sense. Now, I didn't spend money I didn't have. I didn't go do anything reckless. I honored my commitments. I was, I was transparent and all those good things to the best of my ability. Things started changing unbeknownst to me. And suddenly I'm on a world tour. Suddenly I've got a best-selling audio program. Suddenly Notes from the Universe are popular. Suddenly Rhonda Byrne invites me to be in the secret. Now these suddenlies occurred over years. And then one day I realized I'm living the flipping life of my dreams. And I wondered how did I get here? There was no day to the physical senses that went from sucky the night before to the yellow brick road the day of. There was this invisible morphing transformation, imperceptible, invisible to the naked eye. But gradually, because I stayed with it, I got to this other point where it's like, damn, this is so sweet. When did my life turn so good? Every day up until that point, I was lamenting my bad luck, bumming cigarettes off my mother, wondering where the damn magic was. That's the truth. And suddenly when I realized things were working and I look back at my life prior to the train wreck, I wrote about life, dreams, and happiness in a metaphysical tone for t-shirts and greeting cards of our own label. Then I lamented, I'm starting over, don't even know what I'm starting. After the train wreck, after the commotion, within a year, and then in hindsight, I realized the upward spiral had begun, I'm speaking, writing books, audio programs, participating in The Secret. I was still teaching and explaining about life, dreams, and happiness in a metaphysical nature. I had not lost any career momentum. And I look back for the train wreck in hindsight, like what was that commotion back there? Now that my life is so sweet, there was no train wreck. I could see back over my shoulder into the past where the train of my life woo, 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 came to a screeching halt. That ought to freak anybody out. It wasn't a train wreck. And the reason it came to a halt was so that it could change tracks and go to a better track that would allow it to go further, faster, higher, better, richer, more lovely than it would have been able to do on the first track. My dark night of the soul, the train wreck of my existence 21 years ago was actually the beginning of the biggest dream of mine coming true beyond my wildest imagination where champagne, caviar, first class travel, lay flat sleeper seats, five star resorts, love, romance, all that good stuff, became a family man, have a daughter. Oh my God, I can't even begin to tell you that it was in the dark night of my soul, as interpreted by my physical senses, that everything was wrong. But with a deeper perspective, seeing the truth, I could have rested assured during the commotion that all was supremely well, that I was focusing on the life of my dreams, being 
my four words were happy spiritual international millionaire happy spiritual international millionaire that was what i focused on and i was doing something about it every single day to the physical senses all bad look like a chain wreck but the universe got that message you want to go higher quicker faster better well we're going to stop what we're doing here and go there it was all good do you see the danger of using your physical senses you can't see the pendulum you don't know if it's swinging up or down you just see carnage or what appears to be carnage it's the remnants of your old life falling away because you took the challenge to take your game to a higher level you want 24 7 streaming manifestations on your terms that means you need to engage your inner senses that means in addition to being responsible <clears throat> for your happiness and unhappiness and programming with your thoughts and enjoying the journey everything else will be taken care of for you so please i know what it's like when nothing seems to be working it's a lie it's always working every day you get closer every day it gets easier everything is playing to your higher greater good so hang in there you're doing it all right enjoy the journey kick your shoes off and watch a movie and uh celebrate all that you're going through right now because when you get to that place of good and plenty you will look back with the greatest fondness at your earlier times in life that were your hardest and you're going to say, oh, little Mike, you were so good. Oh, you hung in there. Oh, I love you so much. You're going to look back and you're going to savor. Like, God, I could have given up, but I didn't. God, I was so scared, but I kept on going. Oh, my God. You know, when you start soaring, it's like, oh, this is good. It's great. It's fantastic. I would have waited forever for this. But it, it's not as sweet as when you look back at the times when you were lost and you hung in there. Those are your heroic moments. Those make all the difference. That's what you're going to be celebrating. And that's why you are already legend. Tali ho amigos. Thanks for your amazing, awesome questions down below. Facebook, Instagram. Um, thanks for the interaction and the hearts and all of that on Instagram. We got KHV. Glad you're here. DMQ. Hey, what happened to real names? Faith like gravity. Whoa. That's a real name. Glad you're here on uh, Facebook. Judith, Winnie, Tammy, uh, Casey. So glad to see these familiar names. Linda, Nima, Marion, Marion, glad you're here. Okay, everybody, lots of love. Hasta la pronto. Tomorrow's Friday. Enjoy Thursday. It doesn't get any sweeter.